Karen Van Noonan said she was delighted at where the medical marijuana is in Massachusetts right now. Killing patients, she's delighted in that. Patients are dying. She doesn't give a crap about patients. She doesn't ask any of us our opinions. She doesn't add any advocates in. There are no advocate groups getting uh, spoken to in the media. There's no news media going out on it. They don't care about patients. Both the Boston Globe, the Boston Herald, DPH, they don't care about patients. Karen Van Noonan is very happy, very pleased. She's very excited to screw over patients. That's basically the message that we got as patients this week from her in the media, all the stories she did. Thanks a lot, Karen Van Noonan. You're killing us. You've killed patients, people I know who've died waiting for this. You don't care. I think it's completely disgusting the disregard that the Massachusetts DPH has for patients who need medicine, patients who are suffering, patients who have no access. So, you know, you have people who are bound to wheelchairs, right? How are these people going to grow for themselves? How are the people going to provide for themselves? Where are they going to grow? In their nursing home? Uh, uh, you know, how, how is that even going to work? How is that even going to work? But that's not, that, that's not your concern, I guess, right? You can just be delighted about the fact that you were able to get rid of two of the best dispensary applicants that existed. It's disgusting, and it's sick, and we're coming to your doorstep. Patients still don't have medicine, you don't care. You send a letter out to patients denying them their medicine again, cutting them off from Bill Downing as a caregiver, you didn't offer them any solution. They could find another caregiver, which you've outlawed with your regulations. Or they could decide that they don't need the medicine. You tell that to someone like Steve Sailing, who's in a wheelchair at a nursing home. Go, go, you know, decide you don't need the medicine. What's he gonna do? Die? Live in pain? That's what we do. We live in pain. We go to the black market. We have friends buy, uh, friends grow marijuana for us because you won't regulate them, you won't license them, you won't let us have a legal system in place after we voted, after the majority of, of voters in Massachusetts said, yes, we want to help medical patients. You've done everything in your power to stop patients from getting help. It's disgusting, it's got to end. I, I, I'm so fed up with this, I'm so fed up about talking about this. How long does it have to go on? How many more people have to die? Karen Van Noonan, you should be ashamed of yourself. You shouldn't be pleased, you shouldn't be happy. The media should be tapped. The, the Boston Globe and the Boston Herald, oh, we did such a good job getting rid of these dispensary owners. Screw you. You did a terrible job. You haven't spoken to me. You haven't spoken to any of my friends. You haven't spoken to any of the patients. You haven't spoken to any of the advocacy groups for patients. You're killing us, Boston Media, Boston Globe, Boston Herald, DPH, Commissioner. I'm, I'm just gonna keep sitting here over and over again talking about this, the people you've killed. Do you even know who these people are? Friends of mine, dead. You don't care. I'm done. I'm done talking about it. Done.